Welcome to Burnt Church Distillery, located in the South Carolina Low Country. First, let's address the name, Burnt Church. Unique, right? The name comes from Burnt Church Road, where the distillery is located. So where is this Burnt Church in question? Well, the answer isn't quite that simple. However, a local historian, in collaboration with Burnt Church Distillery, may have discovered the truth of the Burnt Church of Burnt Church Road. According to her findings, the church was called Mission to the Blacks, but the location isn't completely known. Why the church was burnt is still kind of a mystery, but this didn't stop Burnt Church Distillery from honoring the church and the area and everything that they do. When you walk in the distillery, you'll notice the elaborate doors as if you're walking into a sanctuary. And once you're there, you'll notice the official stained glass window that has become sort of an icon for the distillery. This overlooks their beautiful bar, restaurant area, and tasting room. This area is known as, you got it, the sanctuary. An immediate left takes you into the study. This room reveals a ton of history not just about the distillery, but about the low country area as well, including the plantation life and how this all played into the history of South Carolina. They pay tribute in just about everything they do, including their throwback to church ideology with their devil's elbow gin, their sipping St. Ice Coffee Moonshine, to one of my favorites, their Sin Eater Cinnamon Smoky Whiskey. While I was at the distillery, I had the Sin Eater Monkey Bread. This is not your grandmother's recipe. This is one hell of a monkey bread. Their tributes don't stop there. Their flagship bourbon, Anita's Choice, is a six grain bourbon. That's right, six grain. How bold is that? It was named after Anita Pulitzer, a local woman who gave up her pursuit of a law degree to help the cause of women's rights. Her choices helped advance the passing of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote for the first time ever. Check out her story. Speaking of history, the name Burnt Church Road wouldn't have always been known as such to the locals. At one point, it was named Palmer Stretch after an African-American man named George Bell Palmer. He helped the town of Bluffton rebuild after it burned down in 1863 during the Civil War. Their Palmer Stretch Rye Whiskey pays tribute to Mr. Palmer and what he contributed to the community during their time of need, and their Bluffton Whiskey pays tribute to the old town and the folks that made it great. If you're ever around the low country of South Carolina, I would encourage you to stop by a Burnt Church Distillery. You'll be glad you did. For more information about their history or what they're working on next, visit them online at burntchurchdistillery.com